Hi guys, it's Jeff at Starting Tracing. This video is about how to install a AIM ECU, which is what this is, uh, and how to do the initial setup. It's all real quick and easy. So the stock, to get to the stock ECU, remove the seat, and this, the ECU is in this rubber boot right here. And it's just held on with these two tabs. You can just pull up on it and get it out of there. And then there's a connector in the front right here underneath this rubber boot is push down on the front of this. There's little lines across there. You push right there, and then you pull on it. It comes out, uh, and then you take it out of the rubber boot. So this wire here really has nothing to do with what we're doing today. So it just is a, this is just a little holding piece for this connector. And this connector is to plug a dongle in to turn on the ignition system, something you'll probably never do. If you want to, we do sell those dongles. So from there, you just put the AME CU in the rubber boot. And just like that. And you can put it back on these mount. Well, first plug it in. Until you hear it click, and put it back on the mounts. Push it down. Make sure they're all the way on, and it's good to go. Uh, these other wires here, one is for programming, one's for traction control, and the other one's for a map switch. You can use uh, the stock FCFW or FE501 map switch. It looks like this. Uh, that will access two maps and traction control. Or we also sell uh, the AIM ECU map switch, which accesses six maps, plus the traction control. Let me get this boot back on here. And, uh, but our purpose for bringing in the AIM ECU is to keep it as a, you know, a, a lower budget uh, unit to a lower price point. Uh, we've got the AIM, the Vortex, and the GET. So, um, if you start adding all the bells and whistles to this, if you buy their map switch and some of their other goodies to go with this, well, then you're right up to the price of a get. So uh, to me, the get is um, is the king, uh, the, the king of the bunch. It's the big daddy. It's got all the bells and whistles that you can possibly imagine. It has a Wi-Fi unit with a phone app so that you can uh, do tunings trail side or track side with the phone app. Whereas uh, this one does not have a Wi-Fi unit, so you don't have that that functionality. Uh, to me, if you're going to buy the AIM, you should be the guy that just wants to stick it stick it in, you know, plug and play. Stick this unit in and go ride, and never have to mess with it again. Set it and forget it. Um, if you're if you suffer from tinkeritis and you want the maximum horsepower there is, and you want to make changes sometimes or whatever. Uh, to the fueling or the um, timing, ignition timing, well then go for the get. So this, uh, I don't remember the price on this. It's on our website. It's a reasonable price point for a powerful ECU. But anyhow, so that's how you get it, actually the physical part of this installed. Now we got to do the, uh, uh, just the TPS setup, so the throttle position sensor setup, and that's very quick and simple. So, hold on, I'll move the camera here real quick and we'll get on that part. Obviously, you're going to want to put the seat back on if you want to ride this thing, but I think you can, you already know that. So, hold on, guys. All right, I'm repositioned here, got the instructions out. So, we, we send this instruction sheet uh, with each one of the AME CUs. And there are several pages here, uh, but you only need to use the first two pages to set up the TPS and go ride. The other pages uh, pertain to how to use the map switch and some of the other features and functions of, of the AME CU. But uh, if I were you, I'd keep it simple. Just plug this thing in, set up the TPS, go ride, and have a great time. Uh, so there's these three steps and these three steps, and you have to do them fairly quickly is the problem. You can't 
fiddle for it around reading the instructions while you're doing this because it will time out. And so you have to kind of memorize these first six steps and wham, bam, through them. And it just takes actually a few seconds, less than a minute, to, to do this. Or if you, you know, if it's hard for you to memorize those steps, well then have your wife or somebody read it to you quickly as you're doing it. But, uh, so I'm going to focus on two parts of the bike right now. So I've got a, a motor-minded bomber switch on this bike. So it's got the kill button here and the starter button here. Uh, obviously, most bikes are going to have the kill button over here. I mean, the starter button over here and the kill button on the left side of the bars. And then if you have a, this is an XCFW model, which is the same as a, a Husky 501, not the S model. Um, if you have one of those, then there is no key switch, but the 501S and the EXCF models have a key. So on those models, you need to turn the key on first. Uh, before you do these steps and, and let me think here guys well, I think we're ready to go all right so you got to push both these buttons and I want you to look focus on this area and this area because of the flashing light here okay so the first step is is we're gonna push the kill button Bump the starter button, and then you see this is flashing. And we're gonna twist the throttle twice, hit the kill button again. That's still flashing. We're gonna hold the throttle wide open, hit the kill button again. Bam, it's done. That's all there is to it. All right, from there, you're ready to uh, button things up and go for a ride. And these Amy CUs are very nice. Uh, it will give you a big boost in horsepower uh, to make this uh, starting much, much better. It should just start right up and work well right off the bat. And uh, I had a customer here the other day. He had a bike, uh, a 350 with a stock ECU in it. You know, it was hard starting. It was funky to warm up. It was a pain in the butt, really. And it was down in horsepower. So, um, He's putting one of these in his bike. Uh, so that's really all there is to it, guys. Install the unit. Uh, go through these steps to set the TPS, the throttle position sensor. It just needs to know what position the throttle's in. That's what this does. And then it's ready to run. So that's all for now. Um, please like us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Give us a shout out when you can and throw us a bone once in a while. And uh, get out for some throttle therapy. That's all for now.